Hey, First Baptist, I'm glad to talk to you on this spectacular last day of summer. It sure feels like fall, and I've never been happier to see fall than I am this year. The crisp, cool temperatures of the morning are just a reminder of the beauty of our part of the world in the fall, and I know we're going to enjoy a spectacular fall season of color. And I hope every time you look at the mountains and you see the leaves changing already, you'll be reminded of the, the creative power of God. I want to talk to you today about uh, something that happened to me this week. Uh, my computer fouled up. I was trying to find a document for a meeting last night, and somewhere along the way yesterday, I hit the wrong button, and in my Microsoft Word, I lost the ability to find the files I was looking for. In fact, I lost the ability to find any files, and that is incredibly frustrating when you're not a techie, as I am not. So we have a contract with a company, and uh, we called them. I called them, and we had a conversation. And, and they did something that I'm still trying to get my hands around. They, um, they took control of my computer. In fact, down at the bottom right hand of the screen, it said, uh, it gave the name of the young man. It said, is in control, is controlling your computer. And I have to tell you, that scared me to death. We were on the phone for about 30 minutes as he did his best to find the source of the problem. And after 30 minutes, he gave up. And he said, I can't find it, but I've got a fellow who works with your kind of computer, and he's going to call you right back. Well, that's been 24 hours now, and I still can't find my documents. And I hope you cannot see the frustration on my face, but I guarantee you it's inside. That business of not being able to find something is really about not being in control, isn't it? This Sunday, we're going to continue our series on being a real Christian, on what it means when our Christian faith hits the realities of life today. And the issue on Sunday is this, is Jesus a genie? Here's where we're gonna go. Some of the early disciples, some of those who followed Jesus every step of the way, decided they would like to control him. And on Sunday, we're gonna look at their story and how they sought to control Jesus for their own benefit. Sometimes we try to do that, don't we? We try to give God advice on what God needs to do in our lives or our world. And it seems just as futile as when James and John did it. So I'm gonna go back to my office now and hope this fella calls back with some news on how I find my documents. You pray for me if you will, because it's a frustrating experience. But on Sunday, we'll talk about how we mess up when we try to control God. Let's pray together. Lord God, thank you so much for uh, the tools that allow us to work more efficiently and effectively. But sometimes they're frustrating. Help us to never attempt to control you, but to accept your grace and your goodness in every dimension of life. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.